Okay, welcome back. Last time we downloaded and installed Filius. If you've not done that yet, check out the previous video and that will show you just how to get it working on your PC. We also set up a basic network. I'm just going to show you that quickly again. So all I'm doing here is I am sticking on notebook computers. Now if I want to, I can rename this. So I can rename this to Mr. Powell's computer. Just like so and I can do the same for the others should I wish. I'm going to put a switch in and I'm going to connect them all to the switch by a cable. If I want to get rid of the current tool I'm on, I press the escape key and as you can see it disappears. Now I'm also going to connect in a computer. When I'm teaching I prefer to put these in as the servers to make them more visually distinct, like so and oh, not servers server and uh, then we can connect that in as well we can also connect routers and things we're going to get onto that a little bit later so if i go into the play mode i can see my network is here and i can open up an individual machine and it's got this rather intriguing thing software installation i can put in here the command line just like this and when I open up the command line I can try and contact the other computers so I can type in ping and then I'd have to try the IP address of the other computer there's a slight issue though which is I don't know what the IP addresses are I haven't set them up yet so I'm going to go back into my design mode now in Filius you have the details down here of your particular IP addresses and this kind of thing and it actually sets up all of the machines to be on the same network 192.168.0.10 and it sets them up with the same IP address so you can see as I click through they've got the same IP address so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename these so the server I'm going to leave as dot 10 that's just the way I like to set up my network and then I'm going to set up the desktops as dot 100 so the laptops rather dot 11 and then I'm going to set this one up as dot 12 obviously you can add as many as you like now when I play I can come into my computer here I can install the command line and I can say ping and then I can say 192.168.0.10 to send a message to my server when I play it you will see as you ping the information gets sent across the network you have got several different tools that you can use in order to have a look at what's going on in the network so I can type in IP config just as oh if I can spell it right just as you can on a Windows machine IF config on a Linux machine or a Mac and you can also use the ping and you can use uh, commands like netstat and trace root again we'll get to that later so we've set up basic connections across our network. What I'm actually going to do is I'm also on the server, I'm going to install a bit of software. And here I'm going to install an echo server. Like so, and open it. And then on my client, I have to click down here to get them both on the screen at the same time. I am going to install a generic client okay so I am going to connect to 192.168.0.10 and I'm going to connect like this and I'm going to send a message uh oh I haven't started the echo server I'm going to connect and I've got my connection established so if I say hello over here and send that message you can see it gets put over onto the echo server so we can start to communicate quite instantly 
So this is the very basics of setting up your network. And I'm trying to keep these videos short. So have a go with that. In the next video, I am going to show you how to set up a web server. A web server so that we can actually start transferring some web pages over this network. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.